Hello everyone. Contact had always been troubled water when it came to accessibility, which came apparently clearer with Contact 7. As I've already described in a different video, Contact 6 was kind of accessible, with additional plugins for NVDA or a dedicated script like the Access for Music Contact Access script, which allowed us to load patches individually into Contact even without using complete control. Now, with Contact 7, things have changed. The application became inaccessible, out of nothing. They entirely restructured the interface, rewrote it, and with that, Contact 7 was inaccessible again. At first, plugins like LBL and Contact Access tried to follow up with updates to support Contact 7, but Native Instruments decided that they weren't yet done with redesigning the UI and updating it. So after a few updates, developers of additional plugins and software decided that it wouldn't be worth updating every single time Native Instruments pushed an update to Contact and instead decided to not update their products, which then finally declared Contact 7 to be inaccessible without sighted help. However, Native Instruments recently released Contact 7.7, .7, the newest version of Contact, which surprisingly added a little bit of accessibility to the mix. And this accessibility allows us to load patches without any additional software except the OCR that is already built into screen readers like NVDA or JAWS and can be additionally installed under Mac with vOCR. And I will show you some little tricks that you can now do in Contact 7.7 .7 in this video. Now, here's what I did for you. I just instantiated a track with Contact 7 on it. One arm Contact 7. And I'm demonstrating this on Windows. I don't know the exact same steps to follow under Mac, but I am more or less 100% sure that you can just do the same thing, but with the help of VOCR in whichever DAW you're using instead. So try to follow along and see and understand the concepts, and you will be able to follow them along under Mac as well. Now. What I do now is I open the FX list by pressing F after selecting the track. FX, track 1, contact 7, list 1, list VST3I, contact 7, native instruments, 64 out, 101. There we go. And now what I need to do is I need to focus the contact 7 window, which is done by pressing F6. Contact 7 window. And now that the window is focused, I need to use OCR. Let's do that here. Recognizing result document. By the way, in NVDA, you need to press Windows plus R by default, but you can always reassign the shortcut if you need. Now, we need to scroll down a little bit with the OCR. FX edit options. Start contact 7, native instrument. Contact. MIDI channel O program O. Contact. File. And there we go. We need the file text, and we need to press enter here. And now what we need to do is press escape. Contact 7 window. And tab. Load. Load recent. Save multi as. Reset multi. Purge this instance. Purge all instances. Options. Help. Great. And let's tap once more. Load. And we're back on load. And that means that we can finally load our instrument because what we now need to do is just press enter on that. Load. And we will get a typical data tip, data name. file open dialog, which is in German in my case. Now, I will show you one more additional trick by loading an instrument real quick. So I just loaded Hybrid Keys 2.0 by Native Instruments. And Contact 7.7 .7 doesn't just allow us to load patches without any additional software accessibly, but it also allows us to change snapshots. And I will just quickly show you how to do this. So we have still focused the Contact 7 window. We will use OCR again. Recognizing result document. And we will scroll a little bit further down. FX edit options, start Contact 7, Contact, file. Here's the file icon that we've already talked about. Hybrid Keys 2.0. And that... Old Photos. Old Photos is the snapshot that is currently loaded. And we can change that by just pressing Enter. And although we didn't get any spoken feedback, we can now use Tab and Shift Tab and the arrow keys to navigate around. Winterscape. Warm Glow. Veredic. Vaseline on the lens. This is me pressing Shift Tab all the time here. Start your engines. Starling. 
Spice World, Sands of Time, Rise of the Machines, Reso Base, Redux, Operation, Old Photos. There's old photos, the patch that we just had loaded. Off the rails, Motion Mystery, Mothman of West Virginia. So right now I'm just using Tab and Shift Tab, and this is what sometimes happens with NVDA and Reaper just getting stuck. Most of the time, your arrow keys should work, because right now I'm just only able to tab and shift tab around, click on categories and select a patch, but usually you would be able to go back to categories after selecting one as well. So let's now just select one of those presets. Looper into Earth, hyperspace. Let's say hyperspace, and let's press enter on that, and we'll automatically load the patch. Now let's just do this again after tabbing and shift tabbing out and in again. Recognizing result document. Let's all see all that. FX confi hyperspace. Ooh, here we see hyperspace. Let's click that. Let's escape out of it. Contact seven window. Let's use the arrow keys. Acoustics. Ooh, and here we see that was down arrow. Electrics. Acoustics. These are the categories. We can now shift and tab again. These are the categories. Synthy, organs, mallets. And we can now select mallets. Press enter. H marimba. Okay. Timber bells, some drums, Sixema, Sandcastle, Run Zola Run, Quartz Comets, Magenta Discovery. Let's just select Magenta Discovery. Let's press end on that and the snapshot will get loaded for us. Most of the time, arrow keys should work. Sometimes something breaks and you can only use tap and shift tap. But in the end, it more or less does the same and you're just able to load snapshots as well as just load patches directly within Contact 7.7. .7. Now, I briefly want to mention one thing that is inaccessible right now. And it was accessible or it was doable until contact 7.6, but they just disabled and removed it in version contact 7.7, which is the battery safe feature within the plugin version of contact. Now, up until contact 7.6, you were able to battery save your libraries within the contact 7 plugin. However, since Contact 7.7, .7, it is only possible to do this in the Contact standalone app, which unfortunately is not accessible that way, at least not under Windows. So I don't know how it is for Mac users, but for Windows users, battery saving is still out of reach. That's a shame, but it's definitely worth that we can now finally load patches again, and we can finally even select snapshots, which previously wasn't even accessible with contact access or ABL in that regard. Now, I want to thank all the people from the RWP mailing list because initially Scott Chesworth discovered that after updating contact, it was accessible to load patches, but someone on the mailing list added to the mix that you can now finally select snapshots as well. Shout out to them. Thanks for showing us. And if you've got any questions, then let me know in the comment section below the video. If you liked it, then subscribe to the channel and leave a like for this video. Thanks for staying part of this channel community. Although I haven't uploaded much over the last months, I promise that I will upload new videos in the future as well. But until then, see ya and until next time. Bye bye.